Do you remember this commercial? I use this remote control to contact Life Call, my 24-hour emergency medical response service. I'm having chest pain. I've fallen, and I can't get up. We're sending help immediately, Mrs. Fletcher. You'd be surprised how often this phenomenon happens. About one in every four older adults fall. In 2021, 2.9 million fell and went to the emergency room. So what can you do? What can you do about this situation? It happens so much to your loved ones, but the one thing you can do is work on prevention. In this episode, we're going to talk about how do we educate and prevent falls from happening by making sure you're doing safe techniques for you and your loved one to help them transfer to prevent falls. That's the best you can do, especially when so many people are falling. Let's go. <laughs> Meet Addie, one of our marketing ambassadors. All right, then. I'm going to transfer you. And Trevor, our VA manager. From the bed to a wheelchair. Right. When it comes to transferring your loved one, there are three things you need to focus on. Number one, body mechanics. Number two, making sure you have a gate belt. You can actually go to Amazon and find gate belts. They're super, super cheap. There are different types of gate belts with handles, some that are just regular and normal, but gate belts are essential. Lastly is assistance, making sure you have someone around you if needed to help with assisting. Here, all right, fist, secure. Here, if this is not locked, this is a great way for someone to fall. Here's a quick picture of a wheelchair. It's important to understand all aspects of a wheelchair because when you're using a DME or durable medical device, it's important because a lot of times people fall and those brakes are essential to make sure it's locked. Steady, that's the And then I'm gonna sit you up, sit in position first, and then move you across to the chair, all right? Is that okay if I do that? Yes. Okay. Trevor did a great job of making sure that Addie knew exactly where she was going. He guided her. Another thing that Trevor did that was great was said, is it okay? Falls also happen when Patients and families get nervous and they're not sure what to do. Up. All right. Then your legs apart. That's right. Okay. To transfer you safely, I'm going to use a, a gate belt. Okay. All right. So that to avoid any fall. Right. Is that too tight or is no, it okay? that's good. It's all right? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. When I stand you up, when you're in starting position, I want you to put your hand on the shoulder so they move to the wheelchair. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Now, you, you help me by pushing down. On the count of three. One, two, and three. Here, Addie didn't need too much help. She had minimal assistance, but it's just safe to make sure because he had a gate belt and he had a wheelchair that's right next to him to make sure that she's safe and she's secure to prevent falls. Now we're sitting down. One, two, three. Well done. <laughs> Good job. All right. Now I'm going to put foot rests. For you, so we can safely move from here. Okay. Good. Are you comfortable? Yes. All right. Now we are ready to go. Ready for breakfast. Alright, meet Bryce. Bryce and Trevor are now doing some video guidance on how to walk with your loved one or a patient using a gate belt. And I'm holding on to them so that if they pivot or they sleep, you've got a grip on them. They cannot fall. 
so you follow them at their pace. Oh no, looks like Bryce is about to fall. What happens? What do we do? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You, you, you got the belt holding on to them and then you're helping them with the side. Can you see my position here? Yeah. So that they won't. So you're always ready to help them. Oh. Stop, stop. Thank you, thank okay. you. Thank Move thank front, thank you. move forward. Thank you, thank you. All right. You're from Charlotte, aren't you? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, you can see them there. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm the one that comes here from Charlotte every day. So now what happens if a patient, a loved one, or someone falls? 75% of residents actually fall in facilities. But it's important that if you are okay. a caregiver, you need to get like that. See, you have your knee right here. No, you let go. Let go all the way. Let go all the way. So like his knee, your knee's right here because the goal is you don't keep him on it. You don't have him falling down and say, hey, help, help, help. So your knee, you have your knee right behind him so that their whole body can lay right there. Okay, can you see his position? Yeah. yeah. Okay, there is no way he's no, gonna fall. Or there's no person, like, like you could be 300 pounds. I had a, a person in the hospital that had 300 pounds, fell on me. And I was like, yeah, yeah, okay. help, y'all, come on. Like, because you don't want to get him on the ground. Yeah. All right, so you, you literally can just chill right here, and then the gate belt will allow me to pivot his body, right? And, but if you're but if you're standing up straight, he'll knock you over, right? So, so it's very good, cool. yeah. So. <laughs> so, you're just sitting on your leg. So if you can do that, that was good. Now let's go through transferring a loved one or resident that needs max assistance. Here, you're gonna look at it as an angle, right? So the angle is, the chair's gonna be angled so that their knees are right here. They, they, it's used as a pivot, right? So you're gonna lean forward. If it was just me, right? I would lean forward and I would have, you see how my knees are bent like this? I would basically, I have control of his whole body, right? And so my knees are pivoted here so that I can move his hips and he just rests, right? So one, two, three. Right there, just like that. So you're using the force of your knees and the force of his body to pivot him in the, into the place. And you won't hurt your back, you won't hurt anything. That's as if this person's like dead weight, right? Okay. If they're able to stand up halfway, then you can get them standing up halfway, right? But most of the time, the facilities are the ones that will know who, who can do that. So. All right, so for the next few minutes, you're gonna watch some more training and more examples of how to properly and safely transfer your loved one, a uh, patient or resident. And we actually did this in our office and uh, our team was doing some checkoffs and so we were like, hey, let's just record this and, and make sure that everyone can watch this for some learning and some educational purposes. So take a look at them. We're gonna stand up, turn, and sit on the bed. Then after that, we're gonna lay down. So the first step is to sit on the bed, all right? Okay. So I'm gonna stand you up at the count of three, all right? Okay. Ready? I want you to push up to help me go get up. Count of three. One, two, and three. Up. All right. Are you okay? You're steady. Now we're gonna turn. Yeah, right there, right there. Can you feel the bed behind you? Yes. All right, now we're gonna sit down. One, two, three. your hands to feel the bed. One, two, three. Are you comfortable? Yes. All right, steady. All right, I'm gonna move the chair away from here. Okay, 
now I'm gonna lay you down and move your feet up, all right? You're gonna help me by laying down this way whilst I move your feet up, okay? One, two, three. Are you comfortable? Yes. All right, I'll take the belt off you. Hope you enjoyed this video. This is a quick video regarding education and safety transfer techniques for you and for your loved one. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Share it with someone who may need to know how to safely transfer their loved one. See you next time.